The James Webb Telescope, the largest and most powerful space telescope known to humans, has been transfixing us since it shared its first set of stunning images earlier this year. It has also been a matter of controversy recently. NASA's $10 billion Webb Telescope left Earth nearly a year ago and reached its lookout point 1 million miles away in January. Following a lengthy process of aligning mirrors and calibrating its instruments, Webb began peering into depths of space we've never seen before. Welcome to my channel. Before we proceed, kindly subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon to stay updated when we release new videos. Without further delay, let's dive in. NASA really, really won't rename Webb Telescope despite community pushback. For a second time, NASA has decided not to rename its flagship James Webb Space Telescope, JWST. The decision follows an investigation into the career of the telescope's namesake, a former NASA administrator who held high-ranking government positions at a time when the United States systematically fired gay and lesbian employees for their sexual orientation. Many LGBT plus astronomers and other scientists have spoken out against having Webb's name on the telescope, saying the association perpetuates a dark and hateful period in U.S. history. Under pressure, NASA commissioned its chief historian to explore Webb's history, particularly his tenure at the Department of State from 1949 to 1952, when it heavily persecuted gay and lesbian employees. The report found no evidence that Webb was either a leader or proponent of firing government employees for their sexual orientation. NASA said in a statement released alongside the report, Brian Odom, the agency's historian, says he considers the investigation closed. This history now can become useful to us to help us understand how we can be much, much better today, he says. In 2002, then-NASA Administrator Sean O'Keefe named the planned telescope after Webb to recognize his contributions to government service, including running NASA from 1961 to 1968 as it developed the Apollo program to send astronauts to the moon. O'Keefe did not consult the astronomical community on the decision. To many astronomers today, the fact that Webb held top positions in a government that fired people for their sexual orientation is enough to warrant removing his name from the telescope. It is hypocritical of NASA to insist on giving Webb credit for the exciting things that happened under his leadership, activities that were actually conducted by other people, but refuse to accept his culpability for the problems. Say the four astronomers who last year launched a petition to rename the telescope. NASA's top leadership is engaging in historical cherry-picking which is deeply unscientific in our view. The four are Chanda prescott Weinstein at the University of New Hampshire in Durham, Sarah Tuttle at the University of Washington in Seattle, Lucianne Walkowitz at the Adler Planetarium in Chicago, Illinois, and Brian Nord at the Fermi National Accelerator Laboratory in Batavia, Illinois. Barb Webb, James Webb's daughter-in-law, says her family is not surprised by the findings, but is pleased that NASA has issued a public report that said, James Webb did not deserve to have his legacy erroneously disparaged in such a rash and misguided manner, she says. An inspiring name. The goal of the report was to locate any evidence that could indicate whether Webb advocated firing LGBT plus employees. But that shouldn't be the bar for considering whether to rename the telescope, says Jason Wright, an astronomer at Pennsylvania State University in State College. Instead, he says, the agency should ask. Is this an inspiring name that reflects our values today? I don't need to see evidence that Webb personally oversaw the firing of LGBT key plus people to know that he is not an individual who should represent the future of astronomical research, says Rolf Danner, co-chair of the Committee for Sexual Orientation and Gender Minorities in Astronomy, part of the American Astronomical Society in Washington, D.C. I am personally disappointed that NASA will not rename JWST, says his fellow co-chair. McKinley Brumback. The controversy over the telescope's name took off in March 2021, when Prescott Weinstein, Tuttle, Walkowicz, and Nord published an opinion piece in the magazine Scientific American arguing for it to be renamed. NASA asked Odom to look for NASA records related to web and discriminatory practices. He found none, and in September 2021, NASA Administrator Bill Nelson released a short statement saying the agency had found no evidence at this time that warrants changing the name. After outrage from many astronomers, NASA announced that Odom and a contract historian would look more extensively into Webb's activities, including his time at the State Department. The resulting report focuses on two meetings during June 1950, 
At the first, President Harry Truman and Webb discussed whether to cooperate with congressional investigators who were seeking information about State Department employees. After that strategy meeting, Webb met with Clyde Hoey, the Democratic senator for North Carolina and several Truman advisors. He passed Hoey some material on the subject of homosexuality that had been prepared by one of Webb's co-workers. To date, no available evidence directly links Webb to any actions emerging from this discussion. O'Down's report states, other employees at the State Department had responsibility for following up. Because of this, it is a sound conjecture that Webb played little role in the matter. The report also describes the 1963 firing of Clifford Norton, a NASA employee, for being gay. Webb was NASA administrator at the time. Norton sued the federal government over his firing and won in a landmark 1969 civil rights case. Onam says he found no evidence that Webb knew about Norton's firing and notes that it was the Civil Service Commission, not agencies such as NASA, that were charged with investigating and enforcing the policy against LGBT plus employees. Advancing full equality for LGBTQI plus Americans is a core value and priority for NASA. The agency said in its 18 November statement, building a more inclusive future requires we honestly and openly confront our history, including the times when the federal government has fallen short of supporting LGBTQI plus communities. A discontent community. NASA has struggled with the politics surrounding the decision, internal emails show. Pressure for the agency to be more transparent about its deliberations and decisions has come from the Astrophysics Advisory Committee, APAC a NASA panel from which Walkowicz resigned after the agency first declined to change the telescope's name. As recently as 7 November, the committee told NASA that the delays in releasing information about the Webb investigation are both exasperating and a source of dismay for the community. Committee Chair Charles Woodward, an astronomer at the University of Minnesota in Minneapolis, told Nature that it took longer than expected, but that NASA's report was responsive to community questions about Webb's history. They bring a resolution to something that's been elusive, he says. Scientific societies have also brought pressure to bear. The Royal Astronomical Society in London has adopted a policy, at least temporarily, of exclusively using the JVLSD acronym in its publications, rather than the full name of the telescope. The American Astronomical Society has announced it will not require JVLSD to be spelled out on first reference in its journals, a departure from its usual policy about acronyms. The Webb Historical Investigation will probably be discussed at upcoming meetings of groups such as the American Astronomical Society and the APAC, and this controversy has also had broader ramifications for how NASA will name objects going forward. The agency has reviewed and updated its internal guidance on naming missions and buildings. An agency spokesperson says, In the future, it will convene a committee that includes a historian and conduct a thorough historical and legal review before choosing names. That's all I have for you guys for today. If you liked watching this video, please make sure to click the like button, subscribe to our channel, and click the bell icon so that you may be notified when we upload a new video. Thanks for watching.